IKEA bag ready. We've got a bit of everything in today's little haul. So before we do get in the haul, guys, please do smash the hell out of that like button and subscribe. The support on Vlogmas has been, it's been incredible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, every single one of you taking the time out. But we're not here for me to waffle on. We are here to see what we picked up. So the first item we did pick up are, you know what? We're going to start off with the elephant in the room. The title says we have found these rare football boots, but I am not too sure on the legitimacy. So this is where I might need you guys to let me know in the comment section below. These are the EA Sports 2016, I do believe. Football boots, brand new, never been used. However, I've seen a lot of metal versions, but I haven't seen any sort of molded, soft ground pair of football boots. The metal ones go for a lot of money. And these could potentially go for a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is do like a little 360 so you can see exactly the condition of the shoe. I am fully aware that these numbers may need to be a bit more pixelated to match sort of the effect of the actual trainer itself. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you do believe. Do you believe they're real, fake, or what should I do with them? Unfortunately, if they are fake, I cannot sell them on eBay. I am swaying towards the fake, but hey, you're here to help as well. I paid £13 for these. If they are real, they could be anywhere up to two, £300. If they're fake, then yeah, what shall I do with these? They're a size 10. If any of you guys are interested, please do let me know. But yeah, really cool pair of football boots. I might keep them myself. I'm not too sure. We then picked up from the same shop this beautiful, absolute beautiful 2001 mambo code black mambo if you didn't know guys is a banging brand to find especially if you find the shirts they go for flipping triple flipping figures but unfortunately we have just got a long sleeve t-shirt i say unfortunately we paid three pound fifty and we should be looking at a comfortable 30 to 40 pound back from this gonna aim high i can always come down you can never go the other way when people ask me, I get this question a lot. Well, how do you price your stuff? I always price my stuff at the higher end and I accept offers. I promote my listings. And um, if it stays stagnant for a while, I change it. You can always go down. You cannot go up. So remember that, guys, when you're pricing up your items, to always price as high as you think you can possibly get and accept offers. But this is absolutely beautiful. That's the back and that's the front. I just don't really suit long sleeve t shirt. We then picked up this beautiful Berghaus fleece, nice vintage medium. It's got sort of a, a lighter grey cuffs and a darker 
green khaki actual top it's absolutely beautiful nice wall blend absolutely stunning uh pay five and to be honest i should be able to get comfortable about 30 quid back from this i'll cross list it on depop vinted and ebay and hopefully push for that 30 pound mark on all three of them and i'm sure that will sell pretty pretty goddamn quickly especially when it's getting flipping freezing outside we need to sort of wrap up warmer and this is a perfect little piece size medium really nice color and should sell flipping quick this is my favorite item of the day apart from the football boots so this is just beautiful you saw me pick it up in the uh, footage just a second ago it's this beautiful made in england tailored by umbro england track jacket size large this will absolutely fly out next year obviously the world cup is on next year nice big size nice size large i think which is my size no extra large so nice big size really really nice condition no pulls no rips the zip works absolutely beautiful when you're doing stuff like this guys do make sure you do check your zips on absolutely everything it's got a hood inside and i only paid a whopping three whole smackaroonies and you know what when it's world cup i will be pushing towards the 35 to 40 pound back from this i'm going to save it or might put it up now for world cup prices but that is an absolute beauty three pound made in england tracksuit jacket you know what it's coming <clears throat> it's a bish bash bosh item come on what a fool it's not um okay it's, it's coming home next year boys i believe i believe in the boys next year it's coming home ah, last famous words we picked up a couple of pairs of footwear we picked up these nike ultrathons no, Lunalons, Lunalons. Why the hell did I get Ultrathons from? Lunalons, paid six, really does need a bit of a clean and a spruce up. These are in fact the Golf Astro shoes and they should sell around about the £30 mark as well. That seems to be a common theme in today's video, sort of like five, six pound into 30s, but really nice condition. I think once they are cleaned up, just need a little bit of TLC, UK size nine and a half, so a nice, comfortable, big size. And these will fly out. Probably sell pretty strong on Depop, to be honest. I have sold a fair few Golf Astros on Depop before. And I think these will absolutely fly. Nice colour. Nice big size. Nice condition. 6 into 30. Yes, please. We then picked up these beautiful, absolute beautiful, really, really high quality UGG Australia boots. Really nice. Fairly bit worn on the bottom. But I only had to pay four whole quid for these. With the condition and the lack of tread on the bottom, I am going to go for the lower end of Uggs. So I'm going to push to about the £30 mark. But four into 30. Nice size for the UK women. Nice size five, I do believe. Let's have a little butchers. I think that says five. Really nice condition. Nice sort of ankle. Well, yeah, I think it's bad. Uh, yeah, I'd say ankle. Nice ankle boot. Nice wall on the back, on the front. Nice little buckle there. Nice embroidery logo on the back. It's just a shame they are slightly a bit worn. But hey, £4 into 30 It's an absolutely no-brainer. Big, strong brand. High-end quality item. 4 into 30 Bish, bash. And from the same shop, we did pick up these beautiful Nikes. These are just nothing too special. They're just sort of Nike basic running trainers. Paid for. Should be looking at a comfortable, oh, I don't know, maybe £20, if that really. A little bit worn again. I was getting back into the swing of things. In all honesty, I don't really know why I picked these up, but we'll go with it. They are size five and a half. I think we picked it up because I've never really seen that design before. Sort of like a pink, white, pastel cheetah sort of skin colour. It's really... Not skin colour, but like, you know you know what I'm saying? The skin effect, the cheetah skin effect. We're going with that. Absolutely beautiful. Nice condition. A little bit wear on the bottom. But still plenty of life left in these. I'm going to be pushing around the 20 to £25 mark. Not too great. But again, this was the first ever shop we went to when we came back. And I just wanted to get the first item. Let me know in the comment section below. What has been your worst first item pickup from a charity shop? These are probably up there. I think I just panicked a little bit and I just wanted to buy something and these took my fancy. 
Hmm, I don't really know why. Uh, the penultimate item, because I want to save the best till last, uh, are these bunch of Disney Infinity 3.0 figures. We've got about, I don't know, about uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. We've got Wreck-It Ralph. We've got a couple of Zootropolis guys that we're going to bundle together. We've got a couple of Inside Out guys. I think these are inside out too. I have no idea who this girl is, but we'll just chuck her in the inside out. And then we've got Tinkerbell. So I'm going to make at least three or four sort of, I don't know, three or four listings on these and just go with the flow. Unless you guys can tell me any different if any of these are worth selling individually. If not, I may just bundle them all together or I might just sell them as uh, TV shows. So like Inside Out will all go together. Wreck-It Ralph, you've got your Shootropolis. I'm not too sure. They owe me 50 PE. I was always going to pick them up. Or maybe just sell them as one big bundle. I do not know. I need to do a little bit more research. I don't claim to know a lot about gaming stuff like this. I just know that retro gaming stuff sells really, really strong. And I know uh, games, which games sell strong. But for these, I have absolutely no idea. I think these two may go together, actually, because they are on the same base. And then these four will go together because they've got the same base. These two will go together because they've got the same base and little poor Tinkerbell on her own. But 50p each. I was always going to pick them up. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whoever is watching. You're probably thinking, Kieran, what has happened to your room? This is not my room. I am currently staying at my parents. That's my brother's intercontinental belt. It's really not. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas. Hope you guys are living the dream, as they do say here in the UK or whatever live in the dream if you live in the dream let me know happy christmas guys it's the run up to christmas i cannot believe we are four videos on the bounce which is absolutely incredible thank you for watching today's video is sponsored by nickelodeon you've been yourself i've been awesome you've been awesomer again i don't think that makes sense but we're just gonna go with it i'll see you tomorrow for the next vlog so thank you guys for watching smash that like button and subscribe and i'll see you very shortly Boo! <laughs> oh yes this was the final item free face covering Obviously, mask, space, face, whatever the government says. We now have to wear face masks. So, yeah, the last pickup is definitely the most important. Guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.